Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about the three different contracts that you can complete in Warzone 2. They are the Bounty contract, the Intel contract, and then also the Safecracker contract. So on your map, these are designated by these little green icons, and you can see the legend for each one of those on the right side of the screen. So I'll go over each one individually, uh, showing some gameplay of it being completed, and then also talk about the reward that you receive for completing these as well. So starting off with the bounty contract, uh, once you accept this, it's going to select a random enemy player somewhere kind of nearby that you need to track down and kill. Uh, it's designated by this little mobile phone icon with the target in the middle. So we'll run over here and grab that. Uh, you can also see uh, the item itself is actually a mobile phone and you can see also that we're gonna get $5,000 for completing this and we have four minutes to do it. So we'll accept that and that is going to bring up um, an alert and then it's also going to tell you the player that you need to track down and kill If we open up our mini map It's also going to give us a, a circle with uh, just a general idea of where they're at as you get closer to that target The the circle will shrink giving you an even better uh, Precise location of where they are So now I've gotten closer to the target You can see the circle and the mini map in the upper left is a little bit smaller giving me a better idea of where they are so now we just need to uh, sort of approach them and kill them to get our reward. So I think here he's in this hallway and then I think he jumps down and wraps around to the left. So we jump out the window and grab our $5,000 here. So there you go. Uh, that's the bounty contract. Also, looking at this from the other perspective, so if you're the one that ends up getting hunted, so another player collected a bounty contract and you got selected for them to hunt down, uh, you'll get a notification for that. So we'll see that here. So you see this big you are being tracked notification. And then there's also on the left side of the screen, sort of an indicator of how close they are to you in three different stages. So right now I'm just one bar is filled. So they're fairly far away. As they get closer, the second bar will get filled. And then if the third bar is filled, then they're pretty close to you. Um, so once this happens, there's a couple different scenarios that can play out. Uh, scenario one is they kill you. Uh, that's <laughs> the less preferred option. Uh, the other thing is you can just run out the timer so they have four minutes. If they don't kill you in those four minutes, then you can avert the contract. And then if they die, so if another player kills them or you kill them, uh, you'll avert the contract as well. So um, I think in this case, uh, another player kills them pretty quick right away. And for that, for averting the contract, you get $2,000. So you can see here, somebody killed him, uh, bounty averted, and I got $2,000 for that. Next, we've got the Intel contract. Uh, this essentially replaces the recon contract that was in Warzone 1. Uh, it's designated by a little folder with a question mark on it. So we'll go ahead and grab that. So you can see here, uh, we're gonna get $4,000 and then like the recon contract in Warzone 1, we're gonna get a circle peak as well. So we have six minutes to do that and this is gonna be in a couple different stages. So we'll get the uh, contract and the first thing that we need to do, it'll tell you here, is that we need to locate a laptop uh, with a hard drive. So the laptop location is going to be designated on your map with this big green circle and then the same folder with the question mark icon just to give you a general idea of where it's at. Once you get closer, you can now see this uh, other icon. I go in the wrong room. Uh, that'll take you right to the laptop. So that's gonna be where you get the hard drive. And then the final step is you now need to take that hard drive to a final location where you can upload it. Once there, uh, you'll come across this computer terminal where you can do the upload. Uh, there'll be a prompt that says begin upload. Once you do that, it's going to launch a flare into the sky, basically alerting everybody on the map that that's where you're at. Uh, so we can see what that looks like here. It's this big bright flare in the sky. Uh, so keep that in mind. You're basically alerting everybody to your location. And then you just need to stay by the terminal while this progress bar uploads, which takes about 10 seconds. If you step away too far, it's going to pause the upload. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, but once it's completed, you'll get $4,000. And then you'll also get a circle peak, which is designated by this yellow uh, circle. So that's where the next circle is going to collapse to. And then finally wrapping things up, we've got the safe cracker contract, which is designated by the little safe icon. So this one is basically replacing the scavenger contract from Warzone 1. Uh, but instead of going to three different locations where there's loot boxes, there's now safes that you need to blow up. And each one you'll get uh, some supplies and things like that. And at the end of it, when you do all three, you'll get $4,000 and then a three plate armor vest. So we'll go ahead and uh, collect the contract. And you can see once we do that, there have been three spots on the map that have been designated with safes that we need to go blow up. So now we have four minutes and we can go one by one and uh, blow up all the safes. 
So we've made it to safe number one. And once you get up to it, it'll ask you to plant C4. And then a little timer will go off and explode, opening up the safe. And you'll get a variety of uh, ammo, maybe a weapon, some armor plates and things like that. Moving on to safe number two. Uh, one thing to note here is I didn't get quite far enough away and this will hurt you if you're too close. So you can see I can take a little bit of damage there. So you do want to make sure that you're in sort of safe proximity when you do this. And then finally, we're now at the third and last safe. Uh, one other thing to note, if you didn't notice this, is that the timer does increase as you blow up the previous safes. Uh, so uh, it's not that you need to do all three within four minutes. You do get some extra time as you progress through this. So now we'll go and we'll blow up the, the third one. Uh, I think I get far enough away this time. And with this one, we'll complete the contract. We'll get $4,000. Uh, we'll get some loot and then the addition of the, the armor vest as well. All right, so those are the three contracts that you can currently complete in Warzone 2 to get some extra loot and some money and some other benefits like uh, Circle Peaks and things like that. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching and we will see you later. Bye.